What's up, Panther fans? You know this is Panthers 89. Now, it's Super Bowl week, and if you are a Panther fan, you cannot be much more happier than this. The only thing that can make us more happy is, well, winning the Super Bowl. Now, pretty much everybody is dick riding the Panthers. Uh, most of the money in Vegas is going on the Panthers. Um, the only people that are picking the Broncos, it seems like, are, well, Bronco fans and the national media that want to believe that they know something and want to be all special and, and pick the Denver Broncos. Now, let me tell you something. The Denver Broncos, I don't care for it as a team. I do not care for them at all. I've, if uh, you guys remember, about three years ago, three years, I think it was three years ago, Denver came to Carolina and stomped us the fuck out. Like, that was a beating. Now, Von Miller, he was mocking Cam and Superman and everything. You know, it's, it's fine. We ain't forget, though, and I'm willing to bet Cam didn't forget. Now, Von Miller, he, he, was, he did have a video that was pretty funny where he picked off Tom Brady and was like, oh, this ball feels a little flat. Which, that's pretty funny. I give him credit on that. But I do not like the Denver Broncos, and I do, do not like Peyton Manning. I know that is, oh, my God, he just said he didn't like Peyton Manning. Yeah, I don't like him, okay? I don't like his fucking media shit. I don't like him. Well, I'm just a good old boy playing football, you know, nothing fancy. You know, shut the fuck up. You're a goddamn douchebag, okay? That's that's my feeling about Peyton Manning. You guys can comment saying, oh, how can you say that? Peyton Manning's God. Peyton Manning's this. Okay, great. I don't care. I don't like the guy. That's my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. So, say whatever you want to say. Either way, all I know is this. Peyton Manning will go down as one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play the game. No question about it. There's not an argument to be had. Will he go down as the greatest? No, he will not. And I'll tell you exactly why. Because he's going to be too four Super Bowls, and he's going to only win one Super Bowl. And his playoff record is pretty mediocre. He's been a very mediocre quarterback in the in playoffs, and especially in the Super Bowl. He has not won one Super Bowl. Not one. As far as his playing. The one Super Bowl they won against the Bears, they were lucky that their defense came to play. It's not even so much their defense came to play. The Bears had Rex Grossman as their quarterback. That's all we need to say. And if the Bears had an offense, they probably wouldn't have won that Super Bowl. And then the Saints, he threw a nice pick six to, what's his fucking name, Porter? I can't remember his first name. Either way. And then against Seattle, he just got stomped the fuck out. And against Carolina, I think it's going to be pretty similar, to be honest with you. Honestly, I can step away, take my biasness out for the Carolina Panthers, and I still believe this is going to be an ass-kicking, okay? And let's, let me tell you why I think it's going to be an ass-kicking. One, Peyton Manning can't throw the ball. If he throws it 10 yards, he's got to put his whole fucking body into it, okay? And nobody, no one can argue that. Like, that's just clear. Watch the guy play. He is giving everything he's got to throw it 10 yards. Okay? You know why? Because he's 39 years old, and he's had a neck, a serious neck surgery, and he can't really fill his throwing arm. That's why. Okay? He's old, and he's had surgery, and he can't fill his arm. That's who's going to win the Super Bowl? Come on, really? The other thing is, Denver's pass rush is actually a really, really good pass rush. Their running defense, if I am not mistaken, is not the greatest in the world. Which, Panther fans know, our run game is pretty much as good as it gets. We've, we've ran for 100 yards in, I can't remember, I think it's like 28 consecutive games, something like that. It's, it's a really high number. And... I don't really expect that to change come Super Bowl, okay? And another factor of reason why we're going to win this game is, well, we have Cam Newton, the man in the the man in the striped pants, all right? So, that's my guy. He's going to bring it home for us. And I don't really think this game is honestly going to be that close. I will give Denver this. 
they have a good defense. But that pass rush that they really do pride themselves on, that they really do key themselves on, what their defense is really built upon, you got to remember, Cam Newton is mobile. So it's not like sacking Tom Brady where he just goes down if you put a finger on him, okay? Cam Newton's going to escape the pocket, escape the pocket, roll out, do different things. He's not Tom Brady to bring down, okay? And our offensive line is much better than the Patriots' offensive line. Patriots' offensive line is pretty garbage. I mean, when Von Miller can get to the quarterback in less than one second, then I would say that's pretty shitty for an offensive line. So, all those factors being said, and Denver's rushing game is pretty mediocre. It has its bursts at times, like C.J. Anderson or Ronnie or Hillman or whoever will bust one from time to time. Like, it's not a horrible run game by any means, but it's I've seen it completely get stopped before as well. So I don't particularly like Denver fans whatsoever. I don't particularly like their organization whatsoever. Oh, and add this one to it as well. I think John Elway's a fucking douchebag too. So uh, him and Peyton Manning. And uh, lead to hate comments if you want. Uh, I see it. Don't care to respond to it. But it's uh, it's whatever. I think they're both douchebags. And, you know, you could post the, oh, well, they're just some of the greatest quarterbacks ever. And they're this and that. I don't give a fuck, okay? Tom Brady's got three Super Bowls, four, four Super Bowls. And he's better in both of them. And I think he's a fucking douchebag, too. So it is what it is. We're going to win this game, and I'm going to say the final score is going to be 37 to 13. I think it's going to be a fucking annihilation. Honestly, the fact that Denver Broncos are in the Super Bowl, you guys are very, very fortunate. And I'll tell you why. Because the Pittsburgh Steelers would have beat your ass they had Antonio Brown, and they would have beat you if they had a healthy Ben Roethlisberger. And if fucking Patriots weren't a bunch of idiots... They would have beat your ass, too. Now, the Patriots are one of the smartest organizations in the league, but going forward on that fourth down, when they could have kicked a field goal and made it a whole complete, completely different ball game, would have beat y'all. And also, if their kicker would have made an extra point. That's how close you guys are to not even being in this game. I get it. You know, you got to... Uh, you got to, uh, you know, make the plays, come down, crunch time. Yeah, I get all that. But at the end of the day, you guys are very fortunate. You're very fortunate. Because Peyton Manning, how many fucking three and outs and 10-yard possessions did you have against the Patriots? Like, think about it. Like, honestly, you should just be grateful you got to this game because you don't have a chance of winning. I'm going to tell you that right now. Honestly, my confidence level right now going into this game is the confidence level I had against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the last game of the season. And I think we all knew that was about to be a fucking cakewalk. So... That's my feeling about this game. I know a lot of people probably aren't, aren't going to agree necessarily with what I'm saying or they're gonna think I'm a douchebag, but that's fine because it's all going to be settled come Sunday, and it's going to feel damn good to officially say we have a Super Bowl. So the rest of our division, New Orleans, Tampa Bay, Atlanta. New Orleans and Tampa Bay got Super Bowls. Took them like 10 times longer than it took us in Atlanta. The 50 years of nothing Atlanta Falcons? Well, I guess they'll be 51 years of nothing, the Atlanta Falcons. And we'll win our division four straight years. Damn, I'm already talking about next year. So I'm excited for come Sunday. I know Panther fans are. And the only honest, only thing I hate about this is I got to start going around and ripping Panther shit off because there's going to be a bunch of bandwagon fans. And I don't particularly give a shit for that. But other than that, it's going to be fantastic. I can't wait. I already got the day scheduled off for work on Monday. I'm already planning the celebration. So I think that's about all for this video. So thanks for watching and go Panthers.